Don't you love the sound of birds in your backyard and neighbourhood? They connect us with the wonderful Australian environment and they make us feel great. Australia has an extraordinary array of bird life with some 814 species. Unfortunately, many of these species are under threat. The good news is that you can help. Australia's natural environment has experienced large scale change in the past century. Coastal areas, rich with native animals and plants, have been significantly impacted by urbanisation, which continues to expand. This change has resulted in a vastly different ecology, with an environment that is no longer able to support many native animals and plants. The orange-bellied parrot, Regent honeyeater, Carnaby's black cockatoo, and southern emu wren are a small sample of the Australian birds threatened with extinction. Habitat destruction and fragmentation and feral animal and plant invasion have all combined to threaten these species and more. If Aussie birds become extinct, we not only lose their wonderful natural beauty, but there is likely to be knock-on effects. The animals and plants that depend on these birds will become threatened. Luckily though, there are birds that like to live where we live. Some of these birds are doing really well, like the Australian magpie, noisy miner, rainbow lorikeet, and red wattle bird. But many of our small birds are struggling. Small birds like the superb fairy wren, red-browed finch, white-browed scrub wren and striated pardalote were much more common in years gone by. The good news is that you can help restore some of the balance in your local area. With the help of birds in backyards, we can share our space with these birds. Take action and help prevent these birds and many other species from ending up on the endangered list. Birds in Backyards is a research, conservation and education program that is part of Birds Australia, a not-for-profit organisation that aims to conserve Australian native birds. Birds in Backyards is focused on creating a strong bond between native birds and Australia's urban communities. Sharing spaces, connecting birds with people is their motto. And whether your focus is your backyard, your local community or assisting scientific research, Birds in Backyards can help you. By adopting one of the following recommendations on the Birds in Backyards website, you'll be making a valuable contribution to the preservation of Aussie birds. Get to know your local bird life by monitoring your garden and your neighbourhood. You'll need a bird book, like this one, a set of binoculars and a notepad to record your sightings. You can also use the bird finder on the Birds in Backyards website. If you become a member, and it's free, you can record your sightings. Help birds in backyards monitor our urban bird communities by telling them what birds visit your garden. Choose plants that support native birds. Talk to your council for a list of locally native plants and the location of your nearest native nursery. For example, in coastal Sydney, where the soil is sandy, a small locally native grevillea is a much better option than a large hybrid grevillea like this one. The small local grevillea will look fantastic, grow well in these conditions and will attract small birds like the exquisite eastern spinebill. On the other hand, a hybrid grevillea may attract large and aggressive honey eaters that will chase the smaller birds away. A structurally diverse garden, that's one with lots of layers, will attract many different birds. But for smaller birds, try to establish a good collection of native shrubs in your garden. Thick groupings of shrubs make ideal habitats for small native birds, like superb fairy wrens, silver eyes, diamond firetails, and red-browed finches to hide in. For more information on how to create habitats for birds, go to the Creating Places for Birds section on the Birds in Backyards website and download the easy guidelines for gardeners. Birds need water to survive, so why not get an attractive bird bath or water feature for your garden? Even a simple terracotta dish 
placed on the ground makes an excellent bird bath, so long as you don't have cats in your yard. Place the bath in dappled shade, away from the direct midday sun, and clean it out regularly with water and no detergent. Make sure the birds can see around them so that they feel safe, but always have a dense nearby tree or shrub so that they can escape if needed. The Birds in Backyards website has a great range of resources that can help you. So why not start this weekend? Think about how you can make your backyard Aussie bird friendly and develop a plan. Get the whole family involved. Helping Aussie birds will be fun and deeply rewarding.